Monday. Uh, I want Ryan and uh, Marshall to do the DOT on the engine this morning first thing. Uh, Marshall has his test Thursday, so knock that out. Hopefully the cab tilts on this engine, unlike the last one we had. Check my tire inflation, about 120 PSI. Um, some engines say it on the body, what the inflation pressure should be. All right, front 120, rear 120. Got 120 PSI on my front tire. I'm also gonna check my uh, tread here. Um, I need at least 430 seconds of an inch on my steer tire, um, which I would check with a tread depth gauge, um, but I'm confident here um, that I have at least 430 seconds of a, an inch of tread on my steer tire. Um, move it back, confirm that my doors latch properly, my handles are secure, all my rails, my lights, everything's not cracked, not bent, not broken, it is securely mounted. I'll look from the side underneath again, just confirming I don't have any wires, uh, anything leaking. Both my inner and my outer dual tire pressure. Just under 120. So, I didn't really want to do this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet. That's my officially a TikTok. Well, not yet. Got to make a video. So. I'll be a TikToker once I do this video. Stay tuned.
So, it's confession time. I feel as though I currently suck at being a firefighter. And you may be like, nah, it may not be that bad, but I have not been doing that great at doing my job. At being a firefighter, and I can honestly say, I suck as a firefighter. And the number one reason I can honestly say that I suck at being a firefighter currently is because I feel as though I suck at being myself. And I don't know if a lot of, well, a lot of you, and a lot of you have been following me, um, know that I recently transferred to new station, station 23, which is a lot busier than station 11 and which I can honestly say um, I did get comfortable and I did start um, kind of coasting and and that's my fault and ultimately I, I won't say I completely stopped learning but I stopped learning um, I stopped learning the job um, ways to improve um, growing in the career I'm actually, I just, I started hosting. I got comfortable, I just have to be honest with, uh, with myself. And ultimately honest, and honest with you as well. And like now I've been here, maybe I would say three months at this point, and I can honestly say that it's been a struggle, a big struggle, um, trying to get back into the swing of things. Trying to get back into the swing of the job. Um, yeah, I can run the calls. You know, sick Pete, the sick person calls. The, I can pull the hose line. Yeah, I can do those things, and that's all fine and dandy. But when I think of myself and what I'm used to. Um, I like to be considered among the best or one of the harder workers or like not a slouch. So for me to feel like, and, it may, and I'm saying it may just be me, but to feel as though I'm the lesser or I don't, I know a lot less than the guys that are around me is a uh, hard for me and I know I mentioned um, I have not been have not been a hundred percent myself and as we just have just entered 2021 um, my birthday approaching very very soon this is usually a time where I get into some deep thought and evaluation and trying to figure out my next moves or just how I want my year to go. I realize the problem, one of the problems, one of the main problems is I stopped having fun. And if I can be 100% honest with, with you, um, these past few years have, have kind of been rough. Uh, with, well, this past year with coronavirus, with, with COVID-19, and over these past few years with all the political bullcrap. A lot of situations coming to surface um, kind of makes you second guess the people that are around you. Um, and if you can see, I mean, I am black, and you know, I'm well. No, if you know, but I'm not a wolves me type type of guy. So I um, don't play the victim. It is what it is with a lot of stuff, but uh, when certain things happen, 
certain issues arise and you start to see other people's point of views um, and it only just makes you question how they view you. Not to get into too much detail is because this is not a far, this is not a political channel. For one, I hate politics. Um, and that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video in itself. A whole nother series of videos in themselves, but um, you start to see where people stand. And I've and I witnessed it first, and I witnessed um, discrimination firsthand. And like I said, I'm not a war me type person. And to be honest, um, I try not to let it bother me. But in the same regard, sometimes I feel as though I can't necessarily, I don't feel comfortable being myself. And I feel as though I have to put up a facade or I have to dumb it down because if you know me and you, you've ever been around me you know that I like to have fun and that's the problem I, I stopped having fun at work um, like I like to um, I've gone into I've gone into stations and, and can feel that the conversation completely ceased because I entered the room I'm not sure what they were talking about. Not going to see what they were talking about. But it has happened. And I just have to be... I feel that at times I can't be myself. And I was having a conversation with a friend of mine. And in this conversation, told this person that I try my best to be the example of the black guy of a black guy if they have never been if whomever is not have not encountered a black guy so often we create biases about a certain group of people, um, not even based not based on experiences, on, but on what we perceive in the media, um, the TV, the news, whatnot, and we don't have a good perception of. We try to we, we classify a whole group based on a couple incidents or an incident that, that has been black plastered across the news or um, and it goes for black people as well. You know we have we create boxes towards people that we don't we have never encountered and we have issues with a complete group of a, a different another group of people and we don't give an honest chance to the individual that you may be interacting with or encountering. So long story short, I'm gonna cut this video short. Um, so I think I've said enough. And I'm not by far by by far not trying to blame it on anyone else. Um, it's completely on me. Um, because where my goal is to leave myself wherever I go. So if this, if I am the only perspective that you have of a black person, black male, I want that to be a great perspective. Hard working, fun, energetic, charismatic, knows the 
his job. That's what I want to do. So, in conclusion, I got to get back to doing me. Got to get back to having fun um, with learning. Make learning fun. Um, make working out fun. Make life fun. Enjoy, enjoy every moment of life that you can. Especially with learning. Learning, like I said, even with fitness. You make these things fun to become less of a chore. And to be honest, this video actually feels like it's kind of all over the place, but I said what I said, it is what it is. And from now on, you will get the true 100% uncut Ryan Roundtree. Because if I can't be myself, there's no point in being at all. So, enjoy life. Um, comment down below, please. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on, on this topic. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say, what you think. Um, it's negative, I really won't care. Um, but I truly appreciate the support that I've gotten so far on this page. Furthermore, I challenge you. Um, I challenge you to to have fun. I challenge you to make learning fun. I challenge you to make fitness fun. Um, your health, make it fun. Um, enjoy every moment that you're alive. Um, Cause for all we know, we only get one. I only get one life, so why so serious? Nobody makes it out alive. <laughs> so have fun. Let your energy shine through. Let you share your energy and your spirit and yourself with the people that are around you. Yeah, that's all I got. Hey, hey, I may even lose followers from, I may even lose subscribers or followers from doing this video, but if I ain't myself, then what am I being? So, y'all rock with me or you don't. So, it is what it is. I'm a goof, I'm a goofball, for real. You know, I'm, I'm about to give y'all all of me, all of it, uncut, unadulterated, round round tree. You about to get all of, all this work. So, like I said, it is what it is. Take it or leave it. I don't really care.